deployed from afar, thousands took to Hong Kong streets this weekend in force for the 21st week of anti-government protests. But they were met with fierce resistance from the city's embattled police force. Last week, Vice President Mike Pence became the highest-ranking member of the Trump administration to voice strong support for the anti-Beijing movement, now entering its fifth month in the semi-autonomous Chinese city. To the millions in Hong Kong who have been peacefully demonstrating to protect your rights these past months, we stand with you. We are inspired by you. And we urge you to stay on the path of nonviolent protest. That message of nonviolence didn't carry, with clashes and vandalism that only intensified as night fell. In previous months, other protests have turned chaotic and violent, with police firing tear gas, water cannon, rubber bullets, and the occasional live round. Opposition legislator Ted Hui told VOA the violence disrupts what he says should be peaceful protests. It's not something that we, uh, Hong Kong people would like to see. It's not something uh, the world would like to see. But I still urge the people to look uh, to the surface and understand the background why people are so angry. And there's no other ways uh, of uh, expressing uh, the, the grief, and that's why uh, they have they are resorting to some other means. Might not be right, but the government should have responded to the five demands, and the problem will be so totally solved. In fact, Hong Kong legislators this week formally withdrew the bill that lit the spark of these leaderless protests earlier this year, a controversial extradition bill that would have allowed Hong Kong residents to be tried in mainland China opponents felt it symbolized Beijing's increasing control over Hong Kong. The protesters' demands have grown to include demands for universal suffrage and an investigation into the police. But now the focus has shifted from the extradition bill to the police force itself, when they've beaten up so many young people and the, the public even suspected they killed uh, some young people. Some protesters say they're determined to keep the peace which could signal a growing rift between pacifists, who say they just want peaceful demonstrations, and those who have resorted to vandalism and have been met with police action. Uh, I disagree with violence. So uh, if there's violence, I will walk away. That was tested on this night, as fire, water, and tear gas, once again, washed over Hong Kong's once peaceful streets. Anita Powell, VOA News, Hong Kong.